Hello guys, by the end of this video you will be able to uh, fully rig this character body and head and <laughs> hands so you will have your head flips rotate Z 180 degrees you will have working rotating eyes separately or uh, together you will have working lids, rotating lids you will have brows also moving and rotating as you like them a blink driver to make your character blink and you will have a switch for your hands you can add as many hands here and switch between them and you will have also a working mouth like this so just follow with me and if you want to uh, learn how to rig the body how to add the inverted kinematics here and all follow the first rigging tutorial uh, on the channel so uh, let's go our uh, kid layers so let's try to uh, merge them into one object uh, select all Control j and you see we have this mess here so let's undo this and uh, with all selected let's do Control a apply rotation and Control a again apply scale and now we try again to do Control j yeah everything is in place and uh, this order of layers here we will fix so the second step i guess is uh, ordering our layers let's go here and do right click and do a vertical split and then from here we choose the properties panel and we go to object data properties and here too to object data properties here let's display our vertex groups and here let's display our layers okay so that we have a faster workflow uh, of course our uh, vertex groups these are old vertex groups we need to delete them before we parent our uh, guy to the new rig so let's delete them we need to delete them one by one i hope there was a, an option to delete them all at once if you know of a, a way to do that please let me know in the comments so here are our layers here and we should order them let's check something first in under strokes here we need to have 2D layers activated and not 3D location. So let's start ordering these layers. First the face. Let's bring it up. The nose. <clears throat> and then the ear. Why should? Why can't we just drag these like this? Why can't we just drag these layers? We need to click and click and click. So we have an ear here. I think this is the... Yes, this is the left ear. So let's rena rename it. Ear.l we have a nose, a face, let's get our cheeks here let's put them uh, under the nose and then we get our other ear the other ear should be under the face layer and we rename it ear R nice and then we get the hair, we have two layers for hair so there is some hair that will be in front it should be under the front ear here and then we get the other hair here and this one should be, I think, under the lower ear or above it. Yeah, above it is better, I think. And then we get the eyes. Let's put them above the nose. These are our eyes and eyebrows and everything. And then we get the mouth. I guess this is the last layer we need to put just above the face. Nice. So now what about the left arm? so the left arm is this one yes let's rename it arm.l and we have a sleeve too let's just make them one layer so click on the sleeve and then go to this arrow here and do merge down so now we have the arm and the sleeve in one layer this is the hand rest your name rename it hand.l and get it up under the ear here and then the arm the left arm under the hand and then we get the body so we have some shirt and body i think i will uh, keep them separated for now we may merge them later let's get the shirt up under the left arm and then the body under the shirt and then we get our right hand we rename it hand.r and we get our right arm we name it arm.r and put it just under the, the right hand 
Oh, we have a sleeve too, a right sleeve, so put it above the arm and then merge it down. Now for the feet, we'll have first the left foot, it should be this one. So move it up here and then we have the right, the left leg here. Yes, let's move it up under the left foot. We have some trouser layers here, we don't need them. They were for uh, the boy character, so just delete these layers by hitting minus here. And then this one too. And then we rename the foot01 to foot.r and the second leg to leg.r. So I think now all our layers are ordered. But we need to separate some layers and add some new layers. So for the eyes, as you can see, we have everything in one layer. We need the pupils to be in one layer to be masked, to be able to mask it with the eye. And we need the brows to be separated also to be able to rig them. Okay, let's add a new layer. Let's name it um, pupils. So to edit mode. So let's try to select these guys, the pupils and this light here by hitting shift and then clicking on that uh, stroke like this nice you could do l to select them all to select all the points here but it's not necessary so just go to stroke and then move to layer and choose pupils and now it should work yes the eye the pupils were moved successfully let's add a new layer let's name it browse nice and now we select this brow and then shift select the other brow and go to stroke move to layer browse nice uh, let's add uh, a layer for the lids so new layer let's call it lids let's make put it under the brows layer here and uh, let's add another layer and call it blink nice let's go now to the draw mode and then we select our lids and we create some lids so let's select our skin material here and then draw this guy here so this is one lid and then we go to the blink layer and draw a blink this is one blink so easy <laughs> isn't it let's go again to edit mode let's select first our lid and activate the curve editing activate it here and check my options here i like to uh, disable this adaptive resolution and uh, put this to 8. This setting I found, especially disabling the adaptive resolution, saves me from uh, some bugs in uh, this uh, curve editing mode. Now let's delete some points we don't need to simplify our work. Let's select them with shift left click and then we do XD for the solve. Now we dissolve them and now we have fewer points to work with. So let's edit this lid. Let's try to make it as uh, large as the uh, as the eye. G, and let's move this up. Let's have some curvy line here, some curvy curve here, and then let's hit uh, Alt S to make this lines as narrow as uh, the eyes line. I think I should add um, one more point here. So let's select these two guys and uh, right click subdivide to have one point in the middle. I think this is a good lid. Let's test it. So uh, hit L to select every stroke of it. And yeah, it's not bad. We don't need to have it all the way down to, to, to cover all the eye because we will have our blink layer too. So this is it. Let's disable curve editing. And we have these points. This beautiful points so shift D and then hit X to move it here and then we go to grease pencil mirror X you can do X local or X global is the same it works the same for me at least so here are our lids and now for the blink so let's select our blink let's enable uh, curve editing again and let's delete some points here this one this one this one i think and this one xd the solve and not delete just to simplify our work i think this is nice so now alt s so for me edit mode is uh, the most powerful mode <laughs> in grease pencil i use it to make my illustrations look uh, just perfect without using a tablet and a pen 
hit L and then let's move it a little bit here and uh, rotate it a little bit let's disable, disable curve editing because if we keep it enabled, enabled and you do shift D it won't work it won't duplicate so disable it and then shift D X to move it here and then we do grease pencil mirror X and then let's resize it a little bit and then move it here like this if we hide the, the eyes and the pupils we have this beautiful blink let's hide the blink layer and let's mask the lids and the pupils so uh, we enable mask here and here let's select this layer and go down here to masks and add a mask let it be the eyes layer and now, now the lids are hidden and then we go to the eye uh, to the pupils and do the same plus and add the eyes as a mask so now if we lock everything and unlock the lids layer we should be in edit mode a and now we can hit g and have this mask nice and what about the pupils let's unlock them and then hit a and we can move them and they are well masked with the eyes now let's go to the arm and the hand so go to the left hand here let's unlock it and let's uh, duplicate it so duplicate this layer and uh, lock it enable curve editing and we will add a fist so here too we have a lot of points so let's delete the ones we don't need xd nice let's hide the other hand so let's create our fist here Let's duplicate the fist and let's add a point and finger. So let's uh, hide this. So G and these are our hand layer. We want to add the, the right hand. It's the same process. If you hit three on the name pad, you should you see that our layers are not in the same plane. So we need to uh, put them all in this global uh, Z axis. So back to edit mode and uh, everything is locked nice so let's unlock the face layers it starts from the right ear up unlock everything i hope everything is uh, visible and now a to select what happened mm, there's a problem here so this is some glitch caused by the curve editing uh, enabled that's why sometimes it's better to disable it let's enable it again yes nice so back to tree the problem when you forget to uh, disable a curve editing once you finish using it is that sometimes it messes with your weight painting so be careful with that l to select them all go to tree again and move them back g y you can hit shift to make your movements more precise so make sure that uh, every layer is visible and unlocked okay back to tree and g y six and a half hours later i guess we are good now so this is our girl and we can flip it with no problem now the next step is to add our uh, armature let's uh, go to file append and go to our kid 2 and then to object and then choose our meta rig dot tree and append it one bizarre thing happens even our uh, Rigify rig is imported. We need to delete these guys here. So this rig and all its widgets need to be deleted. And I hope I don't delete anything of my my girl model is here. So I think this is safe to delete. So just hit delete on the keyboard and let's rename this body to girl and rename this kid also to girl. So we have our meta rig here now. Let's select it and go to edit mode. Hide the girl and see what it is made of. So uh, all the parts here we learned to do in the first uh, rigging tutorial. So what's new are the bones here on the face. So we have a mouth bone here. Um, with a rig type of basic super copy. 
and uh, with a pivot as widget you can choose any widget you want it's just for the looks i like the pivots with the form disabled here and here because this bone won't deform or move any mesh it will be used with a driver this bone here you can just duplicate this to make this bone it doesn't have the form to any the form it has a pivot it has the same rig type we have two bones for the pupils here these bones are the same but they have the form enabled you see because this bone will control the left pupil and this bone will control the right pupil and this bone doesn't have the form because it controls these two bones it doesn't it doesn't control the pupils so if you move this bone you will move both pupils these two bones are for the left and right lids and these two bones are for the left and right brows uh, these won't have any drivers and they have the form enabled and the same rig type the same everything for the parenting all these bones this 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 and this are uh, parented to the head bone and only these two bones, the pupils bones, are parented to the eyes bones. And you can see this line here that shows us the parenting. Okay, and this one of course is parented to the head. Now for the hand switch bone, this guy here also has the same rig type, the same widget. It has the form disabled. This one will help us switch between the hands we created. And it is parented to the hand, to the left hand bone. And the same with our right switch bone. This is it. This is our bone structure. And hide the girl. And let's go first to object mode. Select the girl. Let's hide the, the shirt layer. To be able to see the body. And now we can uh, adjust the armature to the girl. Before we generate our rigify rig. We select the rig. We go to edit mode. And we start adjusting the skies. We hit one here. On the, on the number pad. We select these bones here. Move them with G make sure this guy is here in the center of this and then i think i will move this bone a little bit here and this guy just a little bit here let's select this and hit g z and move it down here and then g z by selecting the ball and then here the head bone is too long i guess so g z here and now the bone the mouth bone let's put it just here and we have the eyes bone let's select all three of these g and put them like uh, here the brows bones let's put one here on the brow and the other one here on the other brow let's go to object mode select the girl and let's unmask the lids so we can see them and then go again yeah, select the armature again to edit mode and move this these lids bones here just here or here here it's okay so here are our lids bones now for the body i try to make them the almost the same size and then for this bone just make it bend a little bit on this direction so that later when we bend the leg it won't bend in the wrong direction I think this is it so let's go back to object mode our rig is selected now we can generate our rigify rig bingo it works let's get this meta rig out of this collection and we have our widgets here and our rigify rig let's and let's <laughs> and hide our uh, shirt layer now we can make it one layer with the body let's try to do it to do merge it down yes it works it was locked but it worked nice there's a problem here with the face you see all these uh... so let's go to edit mode so unlock the face select the face and then enable curve editing let's check our points here you see we don't have enough uh, enough points here that's why we have this jagged edges here we have only a few points so enable curve editing again and we select these two points and right click subdivide so we added a new point here and you see it's much smoother now now on this part too so this point and this point and then subdivide and this looks better i guess let's disable curve editing again and we have a very nicer shape here nice so this is a side <laughs> tip back to object mode select our uh, model and then shift select our rig and let's do Control p parent with empty grubs 
So now we can start weight painting in some parts, like in the head. For example, with the brows, let's go with uh, in edit mode and select one of the brows, the left brow. Unlock and select the left brow. Hit L to select all the points of the left brow. And then you go here to the uh, vertex groups and look for the brow vertex group, the left brow. So you select it and hit assign. This is enough, you don't need to weight paint. Again, we do, we click on this and then L to select all the points, brow R, assign. Let's do it for the pupils. Unlock the pupils and uh, select these, L, and then look for the left pupils and hit assign. Now let's try to go in uh, weight painting mode and check if uh, our weight painting is done. Without weight painting, just by assigning the points to the vertex groups, we get the same result. We can do the same for the lids too, or we can just weight paint, of course. Let's unlock the lids here, lid left. And we weight paint the lid and lid R, we weight paint the right lid. Did we do the right pupil? No, only the left. So right pupil, lock this, unlock the pupils layer and weight paint the right pupil. Now for the rest of the head, let's, uh, let's unlock everything on the head, the face, everything, the hair, the back hair, the ear too. Yeah, let's unhide the blink so we can weight paint it too. So let's lock the pupils, let's lock the the brows and the lids, only these. All the rest should be parented to the head bone here. So we can weight paint of course or we can go to edit mode. Do just A on the keyboard to select all the points of the head except the pupils as you, as you can see at the lids and the brows. And we hit assign. So back to weight painting and you see everything is weight painted. The head is done. For the body first we should go to object mode select our rig make our my our deform bones visible here and in viewport display make the rig in front and then enable names so these are our deform bones connected to our vertex groups okay so we select our model again and back to weight paint we look for the neck let's lock everything again and just unlock the body layer and uh, start with weight painting the neck so we see the bone here so that we don't uh, paint more that than we need now to body 001 this bone and we paint this area here it's the same we did in the first tutorial so we're just repeating ourselves but it's really a quick process here nice so neck body let's paint this points too here nice and for the rest i will paint everything else maybe for a more advanced rig you should have uh, more bones maybe two more bones here and here for the lower part of the dress let's paint these lines too of the body so here we are done here we have instead of one hand we have three hands so let's select the left hand vertex group here let's let's unlock them all three unlock everything else and we can weight paint them all together. Or we can also do the, the other trick, the assigning trick. Okay, I will be back after weight painting the rest of the body. So let's test our rig. Yes, it works. There's something we need to do is to enable uh, bendy bones. Just keep the neck as it is, don't add bendy uh, segments to the neck. The, the head flip won't work if you do a bendy neck. But if you want to experiment with it, you can just do that. There's an option here, edit lock object modes, to be able just to go between uh, pose mode and selecting the object in object mode, our character. The eyes should be working now. The eyes movements should be working, we don't need any drivers here. The brows should be working too. So let's start by making the blink. So this bone we want to make it control the blink. Let's go to our character again and find the layer for the blink here. Right click on it and hit add driver. So we should add drivers to the lids too. So add driver. And then add a driver to the pupils. And one to the eyes. So what we want the drivers to do is, in the same time that we uh, unhide our blink, we hide our other layers. 
so now let's uh, bring a new panel here just click here and slide it like this and then choose this drivers these are our four drivers and if you hit in you will really get these options here our driver options so for the blink here let's start with the blink we need an object and that object will be our rig so just uh, use the eyedropper to select the rig and then we need a bone and that bone is the bone named eyes do n let's try to rotate this bone and see which axis do we need i think we changed the mode here to i don't know xyz earlier and try again it's the z axis okay it's the local z axis of this bone i think so back to our uh, character here we use local space and we use z rotation so let's try it rotate you see our blink comes and go so we already are getting something here var plus true basically true uh, means just one so we just put one here so and we get driver value one so when the driver value is one there's no blink and if it's less than one so we should the blink shows so let's rotate rotate this and you see nothing happens here and here it's less than one and the blink shows but i want uh, the blink to show on this side i want to rotate it on this side and not this side i've tried a lot of things and what one that worked is to add a minus here to the var okay so if we rotate now we get the blink just by rotating slightly and now to the others the other thing let's start with the eyes we have here var plus false and false equals zero so why add false just remove the false thingy here and uh, uh, we will do here z rotation the same we select again our rig here with the eyedropper and we select our eyes the same bone too and here we should go from zero to one okay so let's try to rotate this bone like this we get minus zero for some reason mm, this is strange oh because we're using world space okay so local space and we try again you see it's getting up and up and up and up and we should rotate a lot to get our eyes hidden you see that's why we need to just multiply this var to make the need of rotation much less so here this is much better let's try 100 and again yeah i think this is good i think we need just to copy these to the lids and to everything so var multiplied by 100 and then we select our rig again our eyes bone we do z rotation but on the local space and the same for the pupils and now if we rotate it bingo our blink works just as expected and if you want to open the eyes you don't need to just go like this just go here and uh, in the z and put zero just like this so blink and then zero here and blink <laughs> let's go to the hands we hide hand two and hand one and let's add some drivers so add driver to this guy add another one to this guy and add another one to this guy so we have three new drivers here for the visibility of our hands and those drivers will be connected to hand switch left so we start with the first one object rig and then just type switch left let's do the same for the others and then let's start to move the spoon we need to move it in this direction so g i think it's the it's the y so we do y location and local space you should always use local space because if you use word space and then you move the whole rig on move another bone so the position of this bone will change and that will switch hands here so always use local space so that only when we move this bone the hands will change var zero so when it's on zero or less than one the hand will be visible more than one the hand will be invisible so we want to move this up to uh, make the hand disappear so just multiply this var 50 maybe and move this guy here 
maybe I don't know 100 <gasps> G I think this is good so the the first hand the first driver works just fine the tricky part is the second driver so we have this value here var plus false will uh, for now we will just have var here let's use the y location again let's just lock the other uh, locations so that this bone just moves on this axis and not on any other and use of course local space just never forget to use local space again y location and local space for the third driver back here if we had just two drivers it would be easy to switch between them but since we have three we have to use more brains <laughs> to make it work so let's just move this bone here hold shift move it up and up and up and up until the hand disappears so when the hand disappears just note this value here it's in the second uh, in the fifth driver of course it's 0 0.01 and then we will just move it a little bit up yeah like this i think this value is good so it's 0 0.02 so we will add for this driver we'll add uh, an if statement just type 0 if so and then we open some parentheses here and we type var if var is greater than is greater than 0 0.01 and in the same time var is less than 0 0.02 then it is zero so uh, if var is between these two values it will be interpreted as zero else we type in here else one yeah this should work okay so let's try to move this bone again we didn't work the the third one yet so so we have our hand it disappears the fist comes and then we should have uh, after the fist when the fist disappear we should have our second hand for the last one let's just make our life easy let's select this text here and put it here and instead of having a uh, var greater than one uh, zero zero one and we just remove the second line here and changes to 0 0.02 and this should work so zero if a var is is greater than 0 0.02 or else we have one so now we should have our switch our hand and then our fist and then our point and finger if you have more than uh, three shapes you just add more of these if statements so you do the first one like uh, greater than one uh, less than two and then the second greater than two less than three etc if you have five ten uh, more hands you can do, uh, apply the same method so now what remains is to uh, add a driver to the mouth and now we will use another method it's a classic method so we go to edit mode here we go to frame number two and we will create a new shape for the mouth we can uh, use our curve editing make sure always to disable adaptive adaptive resolution and to use eight here you can use more but it is enough for me at least so let's create a new shape for the mouth in frame number two let's create a slightly closed mouth like this i will go quickly you can take uh, more time to edit your mouth let's go to frame three and add uh, let's add a wider mouth now let's go to frame four and add uh, an o-shaped mouth we have a lot of vertices here let's delete some vertices let's dissolve some vertices so xd dissolve these xd dissolve and then we move these vertices like this so we have our uh, o-shaped mouth now what should we do go to the dope sheet to check uh, grease pencil yes let's just copy this uh, frame here shifty and duplicate it here nice and now we will create just a closed mouth okay so like this let's resize this one with s resize this one too with s and then move no g here rotate it a little bit here okay and now we close the mouth like this it doesn't look bad i'm actually experimenting with a simple mouth rig 
When I finish my experiments, I will add a to our put in, put on a tutorial on how to do a real mouse rig. Now, what we need to do is to add some modifier to the rig. Let's go to object mode and add a modifier. It's called a time offset modifier. And with this time offset, we can switch here between our mouth shapes. There's also one thing we need to check by going to weight painting mode and see if our uh, new shapes are weight painted correctly. And they do, they are white weight painted. And that's great. So this is time offset and what we need to do now is to right click and add a driver to our time offset. Hit escape here and then we bring back our drivers panel and we go to yes yeah, frame offset time. So we hit N, go to the drivers and then select our rig with the eyedropper and then select our mouth bone. Do we need this plus one here? I don't think so. So just keep var. And what we need to do is to make this value here go to one and then two and then to five. Go to object mode. Yeah, we could pin here our drivers and then go back to our armature and uh, try to move this bone. I think the axis is the Y again. So just lock the other axis and here use Y location and local space of course and if we start to move this guy up you should be able to go to one but we will multiply this value here so by 100 and again yes actually there's something i forgot to change here in the time offset modifier change this from regular to fixed frame but uh, there's a problem if you lower the bone like this your character will disappear so it will go here to like frame zero and disappear. That's why we should change this expression here and type in here max and then open a parentheses and then type one then comma and we close our parentheses here. And now it shouldn't go to frame zero anymore. So uh, it says max here, but uh, I think it means that uh, it will be the value here a minimum of one and then goes up. So even if we lower this bone to here, it will stay one. And then we can go up to three, four, five. And when later we, when you keyframe this bone here, so uh, like this, we have some keyframes here. Let's try to change this. So we have more keyframes and then we have like this. Okay. So let's try this animation. You see that's between here and here. It is going through multiple uh, mouth shapes. But we want our keyframes to stay fixed till the next keyframe. So we just select these three and uh, right click and then we change interpolation mode to constant. So now it should work. So it stays here and then it changes here and then it stays and then it changes and then it stays till we add a new keyframe. This is it. Thank you for watching. Tell me if you have anything you want to learn. I will add uh, next a mouth rig and then I will try to attempt a turning head. I will try to make a simple turn in head. So everything I try to do is uh, I try to make it simple. Thank you for watching and see you later. Peace.